On May 19, 1996, France's Olivier Panis won a spectacular race in the Principality of Monaco in his Ligier Mugen Honda. The rain fell hard that Sunday morning, opening the doors for the unexpected. Near the back of the grid, Olivier Panis and his wife little suspected that this would be the biggest day of their lives. The start was initially clean, but even as Damon Hill, who had qualified his Williams second behind the Ferrari of Michael Schumacher, led the pack up into Sander Vogt, Joss Verstappen became an early casualty. Then it was Michael Schumacher who improbably rode up on the curb before crashing his Ferrari into the guardrail. Gerhard Berger, who had qualified fourth, also retired early with gearbox problems in his Benetton Renault. Olivier, meanwhile, began to scythe his Ligier Honda through the field. Eddie Irvine succumbed to the Panis pressure at the Lowe's hairpin, locking up his Ferrari, but just missing the Armco. At the front, a devastated Damon Hill lost his best chance yet of emulating his famous father's Monaco victories with a blown Renault engine in his Williams. Now another Frenchman, Jean Lazy, was leading at Monaco, and Panis was chasing him. Then a Lazy 2 was out, his Benetton suspension crying enough. All round the circuit there were now crashed cars and angry drivers. Jack Villeneuve, who'd been looking good in a Williams set up for wet conditions, was taken out by Luca Badoa. Then Irvine again lost control and was rammed by Mika Salo and a livid Mika Hakkinen. McLaren's David Coulthard closed in as the minutes counted down to the two-hour limit, but Olivier remained rock solid. The chequered flag was waved, the pit lane and all of the principality went wild. This was the last Grand Prix win for Ligier, a team born of the mighty Matras and then sold in 1997 to Alan Prost. And although Olivier Panis would never again win in Formula One, he could always look back on this most stunning of victories at the world's most famous venue. A French driver had won the Monaco Grand Prix and he had done so in a French car.